Welcome back to Teshki Defects for another Harmony One price update. And the current price for Harmony One stands at the 0.04 dollar mark. And on trading view, the market is up by 0.41%. And in this video, I want, I want to give the key scenarios that I expect to play out on this chart, the key supports that we need to hold, and the key resistances that we need to break above for us to continue seeing higher prices. And I want to kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening on this chart using the Elliott Wave pattern. And before I do that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also give me a thumbs up as a way of supporting this channel. So from, from this area at around the second 22nd of June 2021, we started seeing higher prices for Harmony 1 in an Elliott Wave. And that Elliott wave in our wave 5 took us to an all-time high at 0 0.38. Then from that all-time high, we started seeing lower prices in this massive ABC correction. And I believe this ABC correction has taken us to around the 0 0.03 dollar mark. So what is happening at the moment is a continuation of this ABC correction. And Harmony 1 has done whatever it needed to do in its ABC correction by going below the yellow target that I had up here between the 0 0.11 dollar mark to around the 0 0.08 dollar mark. We even went below that to around the 0 0.03 dollar mark. And at the moment we are having a bit of a recovery to the upper side. And having done whatever it needed to do in its ABC correction, I expect Harmony 1 to give us a pump to the upper side in maybe in this Elliott wave pattern once more having a wave 5 taking us to an all time high once more and the first target the target area for the wave 1 of this Elliott wave will be at around this area that I have this blue zone basing it on the on the Fibonacci so if I apply the fibs you can see that blue area lies between the FIB level 0 0.6 and the 0 0.5. That's where I expect a first wave to land and then we can have a corrective wave in a wave 2, then have a wave 3, a wave 4 and then a wave 5 taking us to an all time high. And for that to happen I also expect us to first break above all these key resistances that we have at around the 0 0.11 dollar mark, 0 0.15, and then go to around the 0 0.21 dollar mark in the first, in the, in the wave one. And for that to happen, we also need to first see a bounce to the upper side, because at the moment we are at a support, at a support area at around the 0 0.04 dollar mark this area is giving us support and if we break below this area and lose it harmony one could be dead and that would be our worst case scenario for harmony one and i hope that won't happen so we need to maintain above this key support and once we get a resistance a retest of this area because i can see we are trying to close the, the candlesticks above it once we see a retest of that area it's possible first to go back to this yellow target that i have here between the 0 0.08 dollar mark and the 0 0.11 dollar mark and if that happens that will be very positive for harmony one having a look on the rsi the rsi has we are almost in the we are in the oversold region so we have room for us to continue pushing higher on the rsi we have that room also on the macd the macd we don't have a bullish cross but it seems like soon we might have that bullish cross print over here so let's be patient and see how that plays out and hope it happens soon because we need to push the price of harmony one to the upper side because this area is Harmony 1 is at a critical area, so if we lose that support, things might be bad for Harmony 1. Also going to the 4 hour chart.
on the four hour chart you can see that yesterday we tried to break above the this key resistance we tried to have a retest but the retest was not successful we went back into that resistance area that support area tried to hammer into it and then we had another bounce to the upper side and currently we are trading above that key support so i hope that we manage a successful retest and that can give us a push to the upper side on the four hour chart on the rsi we have room for us to continue pushing higher though we are almost in the at, at the 50 mark on the rsi but that's not an issue on the macd we had a bullish cross and an increase in volume let's be patient and see how that will play out and i'll keep you updated on any movements on this chart